Before we begin this episode, I just want to show you quickly how you can access the code for each episode on GitHub. Uh, so before I created a new release for each episode, but from now on, I'm just going to create a new branch for each episode. So currently I'm on the master branch. The master branch is the episode one. And uh, if I go to SRC templates, you can see that I only have page.js here and post.js. But if I want to access the files from the next episode, so from this episode, I would just go to this branch menu, click on it and choose this episode two listing posts. If I click it, you will see posts.js, which we will cover in this episode. So if you wanna take this code, you can just copy it and put it in your project. In this episode, we are going to try to list the posts uh, using WordPress and Gatsby.js. So in the last episode, we created a post template, a page template, and now we wanna list our posts on the route, which we are going to be calling posts. Before we begin, I just wanna show you what I did behind the scenes. So I changed uh, this Gatsby Node.js file a little bit. This is of course going to be available for you on GitHub, so you can download that file if you need to, or look at it. Uh, and uh, I, what I did, I just took the queries that we had in this file, so this and this, and because this code is unreadable as it is, it's even more unreadable when you have these queries inside your code. So I put those queries into these variables called page query and post query. And then when you are doing something right here, you do GraphQL and instead of doing the query right here, you just call this variable page query. And the same thing is true for posts. Also, I got a little bit better understanding of this file. So we are going to talk about it in this episode a bit. And uh, the next thing I did, I just, uh, gone to my WordPress, installed fake fake press plugin and generated a few posts because we are doing post list in this episode. Uh, I'm just going to have a few posts present so that you can see better what's going on. And that's about it. Now we can get to work. So what do we want to do? We want to create a page uh, which is going to list all of our posts. And that page is going to be on a route called posts. Uh, this is because uh, that's the reason that I changed uh, posts, nodes, edge node slug right here into post edge node slug, uh, because we are going to need the post route or post path uh, to list all of our posts. And okay, so let's see what's going on here. So the pages query and post query right now are pretty much similar. So I'm just going to go through the post query uh, part of the code. So first of all, we are calling GraphQL and we are calling GraphQL query, which we defined right here. Okay, so we are searching for all the posts and we are uh, getting the fields of ID, slug, status, template and format. Okay. Uh, the next thing we are doing, so this is in a JavaScript promise. So we are creating a promise right here and we are saying then, so do the query. And once you did that query, uh, you should get a result for that query. Now, if you got the errors in it, then please console log out that those errors and reject. So I don't know exactly what reject means, but it's probably going to <laughs> reject something. And then you define a post template. So in our case, this is post template, the path is SRC templates post. So I'm just going to copy out this line, paste it right here, and I'm going to call this one posts template. So we are, we are going to be needing another template for, for displaying our posts. So this one is going to be SRC, SRC templates posts.js, not post. So the next thing that is going on right here is we are actually going into a for each loop or each loop and we are getting all the data that we got from our query right here. So result, so we are getting the result. Of course, this is going to break if we get an error. 
So if we don't get an error, we get a result with the data. And in that data, we have this allowed uh, all WordPress posts that edges. And then we just define this variable as an edge and we go through, we iterate through all the posts and then we create the pages. So we create the page for each post and that page is going to have a path, component, context, and so on. We need this con uh, context because we want to access the posts uh, via ID, uh, which we are not going to be needing for the post pages, but you will see. So what should we do right now? So we defined the template in which we are going to show our posts. Uh, next thing we need to create a page for that template. So I'm just actually going to copy this, paste it right here and just do create page. So let's put a comment right here, create posts. Okay. So create page and the path is going to be just posts. So this is going to be our path. We are going to use component slash, uh, posts template. So posts template right here. And it's going to take us to post.js. And then we don't need context because uh, we are not accessing each individual post by ID. We just want to list all the posts. And that's it for uh, Gatsby node.js file. We just save it. Next thing, you guessed it, uh, we need to create posts.js file. So let's create post.js file. And I'm just going to copy out all of the code that we need right here. And I'm actually going to delete this because I want us to type this out and see what exactly is going on. So we are just going to return a div. And in that div, we are going to say post page. Let me make this bigger. So what is actually going on right here? I'm going to delete this also. So uh, this is pretty much the same page as we get for post.js, except for this part down here. So right here, we have this GraphQL query and uh, we are uh, doing query, uh, which we are calling posts query. So you can call it however you like, but we are calling it post query and uh, we are querying old WordPress posts. And of course we are getting ID, title, excerpt, slug, and so on. Okay. And <clears throat> right here in our component, we are rendering out First of all, we are creating our data. So the data is going to take all the data that we are getting from this query right here. Okay, so let's save this and uh, let's start our server. Let me make this a bit bigger so that you can see. So let's start our server. Gatsby develop and wait for it to compile. Now that this is compiled, uh, we can go to our site. So uh, Gatsby localhost 8000. So if we go right here, you get hello world, welcome to your uh, new Gatsby site. If we go to hello world, then we get nothing. Okay. Uh, actually, it's not hello world, but sample page. So this is our page and hello world is actually a post. So we need to do post hello world. Okay. And we get hello world post. Okay. So what will happen if we go to posts? So we define that route and we, if we go to posts, we get post page. Okay. So this is actually working. Let's just see if we have any errors. We don't have any errors. That's great. And now we can continue building out our post page. So right now we have just post page right here. So what we want to do here is we will actually want to do H1 and say posts. Okay. Next thing we want to do, we want to go through all the posts and then display them on our page. 
and how would you do that? So first of all, we defined this data variable right here. So we are going to have to loop through it in some way. And to do that, you will uh, open up curly braces, then do data, data, dot all WordPress post. So right here, right, all WordPress post, then edges, so edges, and then we want to map our nodes. So node, okay, so this looks a bit weird, right? But we are just going through all of our nodes. And to see if this works, uh, what we can do is we can just do something like, uh, first of all, I just want to mention this uh, because I had trouble with it. You have to define uh, a root element right here also. So we need to have one more div right here. And in that div, we are going to display everything. So let's say we want to put it in H3 tags and we want to call node title. So the title of our posts, node title, save it, go to our page. And as you can see, we get all the node titles, but also uh, you can see right here that we get a warning. Let me make it bigger. So we, we get a warning each child in array or iterator should have a unique key prop and so on. So to get rid of that, uh, you need to have a key and our key is going to be called uh, node slug is it's actually going to be node slug so we define a key equals to a node slug right so if we save this go to our page right now refresh it now we are not getting getting any errors and if we check all of our posts so you can see that that key is not actually present right here. This is something that React needs, obviously. So we are just getting div. But we, pro let's say we want to have class name right here so that we could target this with CSS. So I'm just going to add a class name. So in React, because this is not actual HTML, this is uh, JSX H HTML or whatever they call it. So, <clears throat> Instead of class, you write class name. Class name is equal to post. So it's going to be post, save this, go right here. And as you can see now, our div has a class of post. Uh, you need to have this class name because the class is a reserved JavaScript word. So you, can, you can't write class right here and you have to define it like this. And also we are just going to add a style right here. Style is equal to, now I wanna have margin bottom of 50 pixels, but since this is JavaScript, you will not write it like this, right? Like you would in normal CSS, but you would actually write it like this margin bottom and PHP storm is even uh, auto completing this. So margin bottom is going to be 50 pixels. If you want to maybe make it 50 M's, then you would just do plus and M and that would work. So as you can see, we have a big margin right here because the margin bottom is 50 M but we want to make it 50 pixels and this is going to default to that. So now it looks like this. And as you can see, we have margin bottom of 50 pixels. Okay. <clears throat> so the next thing uh, we want to do is we want to link this title to uh, our actual post so that when we click on the title that we go to that post. So you may think that uh, we would use an A tag right here, actually right here and just create a link, but we won't, uh, we will actually use a component that we get, that we actually imported from Gatsby and it's called Gatsby link. Uh, so this Gatsby link 
comes with Gatsby out of the box. So you just go right here and do link link to equals and then now <clears throat> uh, the thing with this is I don't like it. I don't like it because I have to write it like this plus note slug. So when we open these curly braces we are just writing pure JavaScript, right? Uh, I don't like this because uh, why do I have to define this post? I would thought that Gatsby would actually know that my posts are on post slash and then the post slug. But it seems to me that Gatsby doesn't know that. So I have to make it this way. Or I just don't know Gatsby enough. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So let me just... Uh, close out that link and now we have a link to our post. Okay, so this actually will work. So if I save this, go right here, as you can see, we now have links to all of our posts. And if I click on Hello World, I get to the Hello World post. If I click right here, I get to this post and so on. So as you can see, this actually is working all right. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put out an excerpt because all of our posts have excerpts. And to do that, uh, we are go just going to do div and I'm going to give it a class name of uh, post content. Okay. And the next thing I, I will do in that div is I'm going to set this dangerously set inner HTML. So like this and HTML is going to be node.excerpt. Okay, so one of the viewers uh, watched the previous episode. As I said, I didn't exactly know what this does, but now I know. So uh, dangerously set uh, inner HTML actually means and you would use it when uh, outputting some HTML code. So our excerpts are going to have P tags in them. Uh, so if you do something like, okay, so you will see, I will just save this go to my page, you see that everything is actually working all right. Uh, but if we didn't write it like this, so dangerously set in our HTML, and we just did something like uh, node excerpt, and save it. Now look what happens. So you see this node excerpt right here, but we have also this p tags. So we of course don't want that. And as you can see, you have this P link more and so on. So we don't want to do that. We actually want the HTML to be rendered on the page as HTML and not just like, you know, P tags, A tags and so on. So that is why we are using uh, dangerously set uh, HTML. Okay, so we said that and maybe I just want to display a date right here. Of course, you can format that date right here. Save this. And now we have a date of March 10, 2018, and so on. So this is our post page, we created it on the post route. And if we click on any of these, we go to the actual post. Okay, so this is it for this video. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you wanna ask me questions about this, I don't know much about it, but you can ask. So you can ask it on GitHub, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you like. So YouTube, my site. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this channel, maybe subscribe to it. Also, if you want to send some money my way, you can use a Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.